All right, guys, this is St. Wolven, and today I'm going to show you guys exactly how to modify your money or stats or XP or anything like that inside whichever game you'd wish. Now, this is obviously, you know, for single player campaigns, don't be a dick, don't cheat with multiplayer, but we're going to go ahead and use Car Mechanic Simulator as the example. Now the same principles apply on everything else. We're going to be using Cheat Engine, it's free software that you can download on your PC and get to working. So first we're going to go ahead and take a look at our stats right here. As you can see, I have 4,000, uh, let's say coins or yeah, let's say I have $4,000. Let's, let's go with that. I have $4,000. I got two calls. I have zero XP and I'm level one. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we can take this number. We're just going to write it down somewhere, right? Now we're going to get out of there you can see and here I already have my cheat engine open and ready now you would have to go here right and then select the game you're gonna cheat on so in this case it'd be car mechanic simulator I'm gonna open so we're gonna go ahead and put the value of 4,000 right which was the amount of dollars or currency that I had in the game we go to exact value four bytes and then we go to first scan now, as you can see, there's a bunch of values on this game. I've seen worse, but there's a good amount of values in this game that have the value for 4,000. So let's go ahead and change that. Let's go back to our game. Now, let's say we want to go to the rim shop, right? Now that we're at the rim shop, we're going to go ahead and select one of these. So let's say, let's say, let's say I want some of these. Let's say I want size 18. Let's say I want four of these. Oop, don't have that money. So we're gonna use we're gonna go with one. So now I got 2740. Let me go back to cheat engine. And go 2740. Let me go to next scan. And here's the value. So we're gonna go ahead and modify that real quick. You have to double click it and it'll appear here, like in this list, this table that you have down here. So you're gonna double click on value and change it to whatever one number you want. Let's go with one million. We go back to our game and let's say buy another of these go size 18 look at how my currency just went up the same would apply for xp some games actually um their like kind of levels and stuff like that they change so it's a different kind of like bite size but in this case in this scenario the xp is the exact same bite size as the currency so we're gonna go ahead and check that out Okay, we're taking all these off. All right, so as you can see, I just got two XP, right? So we're gonna go ahead and go to Cheat Engine, new scan, and then we're gonna put two. First scan. Now see, there's a bunch of values found here, so we're gonna go go ahead and go back. All right, well, we took this tiger off. So let's go ahead and go to the other side and take the other tiger off. Let's just put this in and then I'll fix it. See, now I got three XP. We're gonna go back here, put in three, next scan. Now we're just gonna take this out. Now went up to four. We're gonna go ahead, go back here, press four. Uh, if you wanna be more specific, you can, you know, keep doing that. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Okay, it went up to five. Let's go ahead and go to five. Now we have just one value. Now let's get that value up to, let's say 10 million. So we double click it here, double click it here. Put more of like a billion there and the other but we're just gonna leave it as it is so now that we go back let's take this tower off again and look i got to the max 
I got barn location map, all that stuff. I'm level 101. And I can actually go back here and update everything. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, just got a little better, a little nicer. Okay guys, so that would be the end of the video. I hope it was useful. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah guys, have a good one.